Hello everyone, this is Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com and today we are going to cover part 3 of our tutorial and we are going to learn how to make a template for all of the images that we are going to be inserting into our fading images slideshow. So this template is basically going to be based so that we are going to be able to put the images in there really easily, all of our titles will be in the same place, all of our descriptions will be in the same place, it will be all the same fonts, so that all of our images will basically look the same except for the image. So, in order to do this, we're going to be using Photoshop, but I want to open up Dreamweaver real quick because I want to make sure everyone who's following this tutorial, I need you to all have a site defined and I need you to have a default images folder. The reason I need you to do that is because we're going to save this template into our default images folder. So if you don't know how to do this, go to my site configuration video and it will show you how to do it in just about four minutes and then you can come back and you'll be right back with me. So make sure you have a default images folder with a, uh, with a, um, with a site defined. So, Let's open up uh, Photoshop and see where we left off. So we have our three images, and they're all the same size. So once you have your image and you have it the right size, now you will, you're going to want to put it in the template. So let's make that template. So let's go File, New, and you're going to see all these settings. So the name, we want to call it Template. The width, we want to make it the same width and height of our images. So 500 and 375. And the resolution, we can keep that 72, and the background color, change it to transparent. Once you have all these settings, click OK. Now what we want to do is we want to make our layers. So in order to make more layers and change the names of layers, you're going to see layer 1 here. Double click layer 1, and let's call that, uh, let's call it text background, and click enter. Now make a new layer, and double click it, and let's call that description. And our last layer, create a new layer, and let's call that um, title. So go to your text background layer, make sure your text background layer is highlighted before you do anything else, and come down to your rectangle marquee tool, the second one, and go and make it a fixed size, and let's make it 500 px tab 70 px, enter. So now you have the um, correct dimensions for it, so make sure you're going black to white right here, foreground the um, background color, and click all the way at the bottom of your workspace. And now you have a rectangle that's exactly 500 pixels by 70 pixels. So now we want to fill that with that black color. So come to your um, paint bucket tool, you might see your gradient tool in your um, tab, so click and hold and go to paint bucket, and make sure your black is here, and click it and hit Command or Control D to deselect. So this is going to be the bottom, but we don't want it to be so strikingly strong. It's a really strong black color. So we're going to change the opacity. So right here at text background, you're going to see opacity right here. Click this, and let's, uh, let's double click right here, and let's change it to 70, and click Enter. So now we have, uh, let's change it maybe a little more. We want to play around with this. 80 looks good. Let's change it to 80 opacity. Sorry about that. You're going to want to play around with these things. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a title. So click where title is. Make sure you're on the title layer. Then click the text tool. And it usually takes a couple seconds to load. And let's go, uh, let's make it Arial. So click A and go to Arial. Um, let's make it maybe 14 font. And let's make it italic and let's make it bold and italic. So let's click and see if we like that. So once we click, we see that it became a text layer. So let's click, um, let's type in here is where the title will go. So a couple things you'll already see, um, I'm going to highlight all of my text and I'm going to make it right aligned and I'm going to make it white. So you can come over here and you can click white and click OK. And now I'm also going to make some guides. So if you see where my rulers are, if you don't see your rulers, go to uh, View and click Rulers. Now I just got rid of them, so I'm going to bring them back. Uh, where were those rulers? There we go. And I'm going to make some guides. So I want to make my title, and obviously my description is going to go under it, so I want to have it right at the same. And I'm going to grab my right marquee tool, and I'm going to position it a little more and I think I want my title to be a little bit bigger so I'm gonna click that and let's make it a little bigger so how about we try 18 that looks pretty good so this is where the title of our image is going to go obviously so let's click where it says description 
and let's click our text tool and click under there and we can type in this is where our description will go. So Commander Control A to highlight all that and let's make this 14 font and let's not make it bold, let's just make it italic and uh, that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to type this a couple times just so that I'm gonna type it one more time so this is where our description will go. Just so that it's a little longer so we can get a little, we can really feel what the effect is like. And now you're going to want to play around with where exactly your, um, where your title and where your description are going to go. So you just click the title layer and you have your marquee tool. So you might want to move it around here and you go to your description and you might want to move it to the side a little bit and just make it so that it, you're happy with it. Make sure they line up with your guides and when you're happy with your guides, just drag it out. So this is our template. So in order to save this template into our default images folder, just go File, Save As, and find wherever your site is defined, and then go to your default images folder. So I'm going to go to my desktop, I'm going to go to First Site, Images, and this is where my default images folder is. So I have template.psd, I'm just going to save it and click OK. So now I have my template saved. So that's all we're going to do today. In the next tutorial, we're going to learn how to import these images into our template and then how to save them as images. So thank you for watching. This has been Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com and I hope this tutorial was useful and stay tuned for more.